You are now ready to write a formal chapter one for the paper due at the end of the course, which will likely also be your paper for the end of the master's program. The rubric provides excellent guidance for the expectations for writing and formatting this chapter. This presentation is meant to build on the information from the rubric, so visit the rubric for the chapter one assignment first. Start off the chapter with an overall introduction to the setting and your role in that setting. Set the stage for the reader. From the introductory section, transition into the problem or need your project will meet. In other words, pop in your problem needs statement. Now, discuss in general how you plan to proceed in developing this project. Discuss the significance of this project. What is its role in a larger in the larger world? Discuss any limitations of your project. Limitations can be tricky. It can be things like uh, this is, project is being done in a small company of less than 500 employees. It may not be applicable to larger organizations. Or this project will be tried out with a group of handpicked learners and may not be applicable to learners um, in other settings. Chapter one ends with a list of vocabulary words your reader will need to know to understand the rest of your paper. Any term that a reader who's not in your specific field will need to un fully understand what you're writing goes here. This list will evolve throughout the course, so add more terms as needed. This list should be in alphabetical order, by the way. The rubric has some suggestions for formatting the list. Hope this helps.